Biden See, was, was in Russian, Biden Russian was in Phoenix, Phoenix today and was a, had to go to a Mexican restaurant. What did Bummer? What was Bummer doing over there? And was he paying respects to Kate? No. Oh yeah, well, Bummer was over. Oh in, shit! She done struck again. Oh, Bummer was there? over at Who's Kate? What, in UK. All right, Tan, are you ready for this? Yeah. I have no idea what's going on tonight, guys out there. And hey, everybody in X. And uh, we just, we're here, but let's do this. Trust, trust the plan. That didn't work out very well. <laughs> let's do well, this. Well, like, well, like the plan. Boy, yeah. what? No, 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 no. For... JB, you've done enough damage. Trump's coming back to save the country. Don't panic. FJB, Trump's our MVP. He needed to go. FJB, you've done enough damage. Trump's coming back to save the country. Don't panic. Tell the tell the liberals don't panic. Democrats don't panic. No, I love fake boobs, but I hate fake news. You can call me rude, but girls can't be dudes. Hunter Biden got subpoenaed, and now they want to panic. Trying to mutilate our children and vaccinate the planet. Gotta vote, vote, vote. November 5th, take the White House back from Flea Joe. Vote for Trump. Gotta vote, vote, vote. November 5th, Trump 2024 is our last hope. Oh, Trump train. Now Kamala work for China. LeBron work for China. Have respect for your country and stand for the flag. Let's have a moment of silence for all the veterans of past. Let's have a moment of silence. You Democrats are the past. Red FJB. You've done enough damage. Trump's coming back to save the country. Don't panic. FJB. FJB. Trump's our MVP. Here to go. FJB. You've done enough damage. Trump's coming back to save the country. Don't panic. Tell the, tell the liberals don't panic. Don't panic. Dem -dem Democrats don't panic. don't panic. Inflation's still high. Gas prices still high. Ooh. But guess what? Hana Button's still high. Hard to save up your money when they're doubling the rent. Hard to put it in the bank when it's already spent. Please protect your children. Protect your children. All the groomers and the pedophiles. pedophiles. They can't ban us all. We sell them Twitter files. Ooh. Stop trafficking our children right now. It's M A G A and Trump's gonna win. Biden's stealing them votes. He letting immigrants in. Vivek dropped out. You run us doing this for clout. Gotta save our country, not burn it to the ground. MFJB, you've done enough damage. Trump's coming back to save the country. Don't panic. FJB, FJ Trump's our MVP. Here to go. FJB, you've done enough damage. Trump's coming back to save the country, don't panic. Tell the, tell the liberals, don't panic. Don't panic. Dem -dem Democrats, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Ain't got but one thing to say to that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that truck. Yeah, that's, that's what I was praying about. That truck was nice. Yeah, that's, nice. Did it nice. Nice trucks. Well, you guys, welcome back to Tin TV. It's obviously our taco trucker test testicular Tuesday. And so we always open with our FJB for the boys. Yeah. Thank you. FJB. Got it on Tuesdays. It's kind of catchy. FJB. I like the part where it says, I like fake boobs, but I don't like fake news. It's like, yeah. okay, we can all agree with that one, right? Yeah. I, I don't like fake news either. What are, trying, what, what, what are you trying to say? That she might have fake tatas? Well, well oh, I'm sure she does, but. You think? Yeah. Doesn't AD look like he's driving the Millennium Falcon? <laughs> He's in there. Oh, FJB. Yeah. Well, hello, chat. Let's see. Jersey Joe, Daryl, Stingray, Kazer, Marla B, Sharon Mercier, Tennessee Ridge Runner, Mountaineer Mama, Susie Snedhead, Lisa Starry, Lisa Bama by the Bay, Sissy K, Dave Moore, Jerry Lee, Celestial Preps, and a whole lot more. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey Joe. Yeah, glad to have all you freaks here. Bubba One's here. Uh, Rowdy, Rowdy Wood. Wood. Rowdy Wood. Oh, and Sister Golden Hair and Stephanie. Is Stephanie out there yet? Be charming. Uh, yeah, Mellow Oh, Jay, Mello, I forgot to tell you. Yeah. 
I, I saw a pretty cool name the other night while I was can't remember who I was on. Their, their name was Big Wood. That's a good one. Yeah, I thought so too. Big Wood. Pretty, big Wood. I still want to be Chunky Donkey. <laughs> chunky Donkey. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, why would you want to be chunky? Chunky donkey? Is that an ice cream? It's whatever you want it to be, baby. <laughs> Isn't that like a uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream? Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, no, that's chunky monkey. Chunky yeah. monkey. <laughs> no. Oh shit! Ben and so, Jerry's, y'all can take your ice cream and. Yeah, well, that's kind of what's going on with the main parent company of um, Ben and Jerry's Unilever. Um, I read this story earlier, and um, I didn't save it because I didn't think it'd be pertinent, but I guess I read it for a reason. Um, um, Unilever that does Palm Olive, Colgate, but they also Irish do... Spring. They do the Klondike bar and the Dove bars and stuff like that. Well, they're not too um, happy with their whole ice cream division. And so they're basically restructuring their organization and in the ice cream in industry that they have, they're going to lose 7,500 jobs to the reorg and they're actually it's going to be more of an independent company is what they're saying. And I think, um, I think they're moving away from the whole Ben and Jerry's woke shit is what I think, but I don't know. I'm not a, um, a stockholder Yay. of Unilever, but Unilever is a big corporation. And why would they, why the ice cream part too? Is it because we ain't going to have enough cows around to make any damn ice cream? Could that be? That's conspiracy. That's conspiracy. Well, why would you sell off your ice cream division? Well, you're not really. You're just going to get rid of 7,500 American workers and then hire 7,500 <laughs> illegals Religious. at half the price. And they say it's, the ice cream division is going to be a standalone from Unilever. So I don't know. What if ice cream, like you said, you know, um, look at it happen to all the cattle in Texas. And I'm sure a lot of those cows were milkers, you know, like, is something coming? Like, remember when we had ice milk in the 70s because our parents couldn't afford the real shit because it was so expensive? Where's the ice milk today? Who knows? Ice That's milk. another case of woke gone broke, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's that's what I'm kind of wondering. Is it a woke gong broke and and they're just stepping away? You know, I don't know. Oh, what do you guys going think? broke, gone broke, I, going broke? Yeah, I think think it's another one of those companies that were woke and they are under that executive order eight four eight that they're pulling everything in. They've captured all their all their, uh, and I think that's why they're trying to do that in uh, New York to Trump. Take his buildings. Well, Seventy five hundred jobs just in the ice cream industry alone. It's a and, lot of and, ice cream trucks. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fucking people, you know, pumping out ice cream. Yeah. Is I don't know. Something's kind of sketch on that one. But um B Charming says because Biden eats all the ice cream. <laughs> Never Pelosi, that's what it is. And Rowdy Wood says always three scoops too. Always. Yeah. Always three scoops. And Sister Golden Hair said raspberry sor sor sorbet. sorbet. Yum. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is that a fancy word for sherbet? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. That's, what I, yeah. that's what I kind of thought. So, just, oh, go ahead. Nothing. Oh, well, all of a sudden my computer froze up. So I guess everybody knows, like Jay was talking about, the only thing they're talking about on the damn internet today is, Kate, 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 is that a body double? Like, at this point, do we even care? Which Kate? Oh, well, There's a lot of Kate, Kate, Kate who? Kate, Kate, Kate who? Middleton. Middleton. Kate, oh. Yeah, the royals. We're talking the royals shit. Yeah. They're yeah, saying that... 
Okay, Kate was supposed to be gone yeah. for like eight months, right? And she was supposed to be shopping the other day with um, William. And yeah. what's odd is there's um, security around them, but you don't see hardly anybody. Like, you you mean to tell me that they can just walk around, you know, anywhere? But here's from TMZ or whatever, but um, this video, um, yeah, it don't look like Kate. They're trying to pull something off here, you guys. All right, it's 10.15. That means it's time to see what's making headlines in Hollywood and beyond. TMZ's Charles Lottaboutier joins us now live. Good morning, Charles. Good morning. Good morning. It's done. Good. Good. I guess better than Kate Middleton, yeah. you would say. Well, I'm feeling <laughs> better now that he's just plotting up her. Right. Or so they say. Charles. What do you, you believe, believe it's her? Yeah, I do. Uh, I have gone back and forth uh, three different times. I've looked at this video so often, and um, yeah, I, I, my gut is, my gut was it was her. But then I started looking at some of the comments and things that people are posting about why they don't think it's her, and they have some points about her height, about mm. her height compared to William, where. Uh, her eye line is when she's looking at him normally. Um, some things about her chin. There are a lot of different details that people have picked out, even in the way she this woman walks. Now I'm not. Before I was, I would say I was 95 percent. When I first saw it, I was like, "Oh, that's her," and it certainly looks like William. Um, but even the William, some people are picking apart that maybe it's not him. I, it, it, it is endless mystery behind this thing and the bigger question is if it's not her then again we're left with where is kate um and what is going on with her so and why would the palace be involved if they are in another sort of hoax to make us think that kate is okay because there was the, the mother's day photo was such a blunder why would they do it again oh no, I don't which know. is what made me think at first it was her because there's like, there's no way they do that again. They got caught the first time, they wouldn't do it again. I feel like but. every woman in London and in England are lining up to be a Kate Middleton stunt double <laughs> stunt or double. something like <laughs> that. model, everything. I mean, what do you think needs to happen at this point, Charles? I mean, do they need to hold a news conference? What's yeah. needed? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but it's sort of like we need proof of life. I get it. We right, don't we all get that every three days or two days? Proof of life. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, I think uh, I know. I know you. The, the shit over in Europe, people don't think it has anything to do with us over here. It kind of does. It has to do with a lot of the world. Um, you had uh, if the king is dead, that that brings a whole. I know. I don't know much about it, but what I do know, it changes everything. Um, months. Uh, what was it? A month and a half ago, you had a white horse and two black horses in Bucky, Buckingham Palace. That's not supposed to happen unless the king is dead. It's dead, exactly. And they were and carrying the flag same. covered with the, that that black um, cover on it. Yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's a whole other empire over there. Fall. Well, oh, and, yeah, it's all fake. And why was mean. why was um, Obama um, over in that area too? Wasn't he? But did that, that look like Obama? Secret meetings with the prime minister. You mean? Oh, with the prime sure minister. Did, that sure did look like bummer. Okay. I don't know. I think we should hire Penelope from Criminal Minds because I think she'll find Kate in a moment. Remember old yeah. Penelope from Criminal but Minds. But you you also have Biden. He's they pulled up his uh, uh, birth. You go to, I think it's cemetery.com and you pull it up and it shows him buried in Arlington 2020. January 17, 2020. Come on, man. Just saying. Are you sure that wasn't his son? Mm, no. It was him. Are you it, sure? it pulls him up. It pulls up Biden? Mm-hmm. By uh, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. 
look, AB is taking a stroll. Robinette, or what's his middle name? There he is. We're looking for Kate, you guys. Is that Kate? Now it's going to keep playing. All right, sorry. That's that's a refugee walk around in Texas. Pink Flamingo called me out and said, "No, that's made up, Agent J." I'm just I just read. Uh, you've been had. You've been had. That's okay. I'm okay. I just think well, it's said- really weird because they got caught, you know, with that with that Photoshop shit, and now you're you're gonna try and grab some girl just randomly to you know play oh no they've had doubles they've got fucking doubles you know they do over there for the queen the king all of them Uh, i think they put biden in the tomb of the unknown president because uh yeah well i mean then on the on the 20th then you got what remember how the the hell would you find a body double for that lizard Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. That's close. He comes close. Oh, I don't know. Don't Lord. worry about it. All the world's going to come to the end when the eclipse comes anyway. So. The and, eight. and Stephanie Stephanie has a good point. Why would he be in Arlington when he was never in the military? Because they're calling him the commander-in-chief. Well, he's a commander-in-chief, so... Okay. Would Which would be an insult to everybody that's in Arlington by putting him in there. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Yes, it was. I don't always argue with you. I just totally agreed with you. No, you didn't. <laughs> you, you could even spell Arlington, let alone find it. Come on now. A-R-L-I-N-G-T-O-N, Arlington. M-O-U-S-E. O-S-E-A-R, M-E-Y-E-R. L-G-B-Q-T, X-Q-Y-Z. Don't start with that shit. So the other big story is about the Supreme Court court allowing Texas mm. de- deportation. Fight, AB. <laughs> so um, I figured um, and um, trust is in Texas. So and you want to give us a little update what's going down? Because I know you kind of keep abreast of your local news there. Yeah. yeah tell well, me about for, it. All, for all non-believers, like mostly people in Georgia, like AB, I'm going to set the story straight. It's going to blow your mind. You're just going to have to put your monkey down and listen to the story. All right? Supreme Court, 6-3 ruling. Texas can deport. Texas has a right to protect itself as a state against any type of invasion. These are actual invasions, people. What Texas has been saying for all along and all you freaking liberal heads and Democrat supporters that don't think Texas is doing it. Well, uh, yeah, Governor Abbott has freaking uh, passed the laws. They're acted now immediately, even with all the lawsuits are thrown up there. The law is in law. You cross over, you're from Mexico, uh, you come through the fence, you uh, get a choice between six months in jail or get immediately deported back to Mexico. Why are we doing that from Mexican the get go? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that just Mexicans or is that's that... just yeah. Mexican? That's just and Mexicans. That's just Mexicans. Okay. What about the OTMs? Things. Well, if you let me finish, that, like I said, you non believers keep listening to the whole thing. Let me finish. I'll answer all your questions and blow your mind. Okay, okay, go okay. ahead. All right, I'll be okay. quiet. So they get an option for the first offense six months in jail or immediately get deported. That's a misdemeanor. They come back across the second time, it's a felony, minimum 10 years in prison. Yeah, do not pass go, do not collect $200. You bring kids, kids over, oh well. I hear the liberals screaming on that one too. You bring kids over, you can't prove they're yours, guess what? They go in the system, they'll be adopted by a loving family that knows what family values are. Okay? So uh, the ones that live in all these other countries that are not land attached to Texas. Yes. That's everything except for Mexico. They get an option, six months in jail. Or immediate deportation back to the original country of origin. Mr. Oh, they're going to they're take six time, months in jail. Second time, felony, 10 years also. They're going to get a free plane trip, but it ain't going to be into the, into the country. 
And uh, the thing they didn't cover that the sheriffs and everybody else is going to do, except for the liberal cities, like I've been arguing with AB, we know the liberal cops in the cities aren't going to do it. But if a sheriff department responds to any incident and locates illegals within the city or anything else, they're obligated by the state of Texas and the governor to arrest the same, and that's their option. If they've been arrested before, they're automatically treated as a felon. This is their first-time offense. They get the same option, six months of jail, or immediately get deported. And they're not going to give a crap about the lady. He's been here 10 years. We got kids. We don't give a crap. He ain't here legally. Should have got a lawyer. You should have paid the big money and freaking got official paperwork that you're processing to become an American. But you've been here 10 years? Nope. Sorry. You're going to jail or you're being deported. And if he's got a family here, he's going to try to come back and guess what's going to happen. He's going to be a felon and he's going to be in jail. Enough said. Wow. Okay. And we're still Question. trying to work out the... We're still trying to look at the law because it does cover stuff. If people like the Cody's are coming across and they got a, a weapon. You saw right. some of the videos where they were freaking bringing people across and they crossed into the, the grounds of Texas. If they got like an automatic weapon. Yeah. So they're still checking the legality on that one because they're trying to argue about the UN rules. But it's like it, we're at war. So if you have a weapon and you're trying to freaking do something to us, Game over, baby. Okay, uh, question. We don't care about the After Oak, so they get the six months in jail. When they get out, then Who's what? paying for that? Yeah, there you well, go. No, they, get, well, they, they still well, get deported. They do their six months, and then they get deported. They don't get to stay here. Okay. They okay. just don't get told that. They'll find that out after the first 100000 freaking go to jail. And so, but we yeah, gotta pay, so, my problem is we got to pay for it. This yeah, is all so, taxpaying money. So we're paying for it one way or the other. Texas well, you, better you build up. We wouldn't pay for it. You don't come across. You got gators, fully automatic weapons, flamethrowers. Well, you come <laughs> gators. Out, you know, if Grenades. you would have voted for Mr. T, we would have had her wall. But you I know, sure since did. She decided to vote for Joe. You know, you know, this is what we ended up with. So Texas we don't need. Been, we, she just, over. So, so we don't Texas, even need these. Texas, Texas has been are, building the wall with their own money. We Texas are now better be building. Up. Excuse me, Texas better be building some big fucking prisons. Yeah, there you go. And then your taxpayer you money gonna is going to fund them. Support the shit yep. out of them. Yeah, no, and in that a, prison, you know, you, and in that prison, what you're going to get is you're going to get them uh, um, going through classes because we got to do something to make them legal to get the paperwork when they walk out in six months. No, and rehabilitate they gonna, them. They, they ain't going to have the same rights as an American citizen in prison. I mean, I yeah, hope not, but you got to go with the with the. Uh, the What's been uh, going on? Yeah, there. Fuck. You think you guys the children, are January six are being treated like you're supposed to? We all know oh, what you, you don't see does. the January six people in Texas being treated that way. No, not at all. I agree well, with that. See? And if you heard AB saying y'all's tech tax money, yeah, Texas tax money, because the rest of the forty eight states ain't helping us. Think about it. There's a couple sending National Guard over and stuff. This would never have to But go that's, this that's the mentality of the rest of the nation. I they agree, don't want to deal with it. They don't want to pay for it. Well, you know, it then let's never just send happen. the illegals over to your state and let you financially deal with it. I, I got a place for it, but it should never happen. This law, this law should never even be passed because at the end of the day, you're it should. legally coming into this country. So this, they, they should have been doing it from the start. Now the damage is done. I'm not knocking down they're going to do this, and I hope Good. they do, but I look at everything. Who's paying for it? Who's paying for the for the trips back with the OTMs other than Mexicans? If they come from China, we're going to pay for a, 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 a plane ride to China? Well, I, That's my only irritation. That we should have just done the law. Should, and that, that's, hey, I'm not blaming anybody here. That plane's trying to have a full tank of gas. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Something might just happen between here and there. No, you know, I agree because we're in Arizona. You're you're all pushing them down our way, and they're coming through our border because our fucking governor, yeah, governor ain't shutting it down. Well, so you so see they, what I mean, I'm they, talking about, they, AJ? Oh quick, yeah, I'm two miles. Out, I mean, Texas. two miles, two hours. You know, people don't like change. But Texas is the one that's taking the forefront on the change. And Florida is the next one. They're fighting the Haitians. And I can yeah. see Florida changing and doing exact copycat law that we're doing right now for the Haitians. 
They're gonna oh, need absolutely. It. DeSantis said he's going to ship them to uh, Martha's Vineyard, if I'm mistaken. I caught that today. Yeah, you should. What well, you catch? Sorry, I didn't hear that. What, baby? I'm break. I'm in a bad area. Hang on, hang on. DeSantis, DeSantis said uh, the Haitians that he catches, we're going to start sending them to Martha's Vineyard. Yeah, send them to Obama's plantation. He's mm. they'll welcome them in. Yeah, he'll show them the lake. Yeah. Yeah, but I think <laughs> I think they. Sh I don't know. If, no, the. Uh, Ooh. But I don't. Uh, okay, I am two hours from the border of Mexico, and I don't see all these people. Well, they're putting them up in hotels, and they've got camps in the places that, yeah. that people yeah, are uncovering. Like and um, every time they try to get up on the property, they're told to get off the property, and. Um, you know, it's NGOs, um, these non-governmental agencies that are getting all this money, I guess. But, but you're talking, uh, you know, well, if you go by Mr. T, there's 15 million that have come in. I don't know why you would lie. 15 million people. You'd think you would, I don't know, where are they putting them? Yeah, they're they're going everywhere around the country. Yeah, but if you're looking at, I mean, you go to New York, they show a building with a hotel. All right, there's a lot of people. But two, let's say well, 2,000 people. Are you seeing tens of thousands of them in a group? Well, that's where you got to ask the frickin' preppers in New York. They're saying that they're preppers. Why aren't they on the frickin' streets frickin' filming this crap instead of walking around a fence when the yeah. shit's going on? Yeah, I'll call it out again. Or I driving around in a car and just um yep. just, just talking bullshit just to, to waste air. Yep. And then 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 some Chicago judge, Illinois judge, whatever, says, Oh yeah, uh illegals can possess weapons. And I'm like, the fuck I know. No shit. I'm like, are you kidding me? They're allowed to possess weapons? Oh, they're not they're citizens. Not they shouldn't be able to um, have, you know, follow the Constitution. They're eight, they don't have any rights. Well, they well, aren't citizens. Let's Correct. go back, back to it. They're letting these fuckers in. Look what they did to us. They shut our country down over a fucking shot, over a COVID shot. Our country, our whole everything burst over a fucking COVID shot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're let, and now they don't even. These people are coming in. There's no shot. And now we no got what? Measles disease. outbreak. No telling what else. Uh, tuberculosis. Is Never a, forget what they did. Measles, all kinds of stuff. No. Yeah. Never. Never. Thanks Maria. for watching, Buffering on X. Appreciate you. Never forget what they did to us, guys. They shut our shit down. They were forced, forced people to get the jab to keep their job. And mine lost their job. Keep yeah, their yeah, livelihoods. Yeah. The ones that lost their job because they didn't take it, well, more power to you, but they're probably going through hell still. Yeah. You got to remember, Texas has been battling trying to deport immediately. Mm -hmm. When Trump freaking uh, said to do it, we were doing it immediately. And we we're getting so much blowback from it. But now because oh, yeah. we're doing it again, oh, no, it's too late. No, it's never too late because you know what's going to happen, like I said. Eventually, the border's going to be shut. There ain't going to be nobody unless you legally file your paperwork and come through in an air, airplane. That's what it should be. Atlanta That's Island. what it should be. should be land or go to Ellis Island, fill your and while, paperwork, yep, and yep, come and All come that in. shit's going on. They're going to have civilian bounty hunters going out there looking for the illegals. That's, I'll, like, I'll agree with that, yeah. So then the 7,000 people that are getting laid off from the ice cream industry, maybe they should look into bounty hunter licenses. There you go. There you go. All the freaking pissed off people are going to come back and they're going to be taking the crap out of them. Dog the bunny hunters job. are probably going to be training them. How much job. do they pay per head? That's what I need. Yeah, I yeah. might quit trucking. <laughs> That's why I've been getting in well, good shape. I, I go out here and battle them. So we're going to need truckers because we're going to need to freaking throw all the freaking... Uh, People they arrest into the back of the truck. 
Yeah. They won't last long, won't last long back there. Oh, I don't yeah. know the Dominican Republic. They're doing five or six truckloads a day of the Haitians. And they built up. <laughs> uh, they still, I read some. They put up a wall. They yeah, put up a wall. They're, they're putting up. Yeah. They're, they don't even want um, the ha Haitians coming in. What does that tell you? Yeah, and you don't and hear I, about the UN complaining about all these other countries doing it. So the UN can't say shit to us either. But see, the whole thing is, is it's 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 not just happening here. What the same yeah, shit that's happening it's here is happening in Europe. in Europe. You got it's Muslims happened, coming yeah. in, and you got in. Yeah, it's all over the place. Something is coordinated about it. Yes, now, very much. Hey, so. We got to send some of these stupid Democrats over. To, I think it's Scotland that has the least amount of immigrants. They don't let any, anybody in mm. unless they do it proper. And their crime is so low. The people are healthy and right. happy, and they live long. Right. So send the Democrats over there and say, no, you're never going to get a freaking visa to stay here permanently. Well, you're only staying here for this long to learn and realize that they'll sink in the head eventually. They'll realize it. No, send, them, send them over to the Middle East because they won't last long over there. They don't put up with that shit. The LJJ 395. Oh, yeah. Shit. Now, oh, yeah I, I laugh when they see all these people out there for Gaza they and they're all in fucking rainbow. <laughs> you gotta take your answers. They got a, they got a there, rooftop, man. unfortunately. They got a give rooftop, a, they'll walk them right off. Yeah, give them a bunch of food and set them right down in there, you know, to pass out food. Come on. Yeah. As soon as you... Rainbow yeah. colored freaking uh, mm -hmm. fatigues. Just like Prison with us outfit. on this panel, we, we, we're getting we're getting very... I am Muslim. It, this is going to keep festering, and it's going to bust like a big old pimple. And there's nasty shit going to come out of it when it happens. It's coming. Yeah, it, it has to. Well, and what's uh, this with the stock market today rallying so damn high? Oh, well, did the s and yeah, in the S and P, did it, I heard it? I just walked by, I didn't watch. I didn't look. Did, I think it hit an all time high, right? Probably, Over five thousand so. or something. Yeah, Crypt, they're pumping this shit. Up again, Dave. Yeah, they're they're. What is holding it up? I don't know. They're paying but people it's a off to freaking fudge the numbers. That's all it is. It it's, is. A old, it's a it's a it's a. you always hear throughout history, the stock market has nothing to do with our economy. Then why are we using our money to freaking, you know, keep the stock market going? Right. Yeah, it's, it, it's and another problem. thing with these uncitizened people that I found out is happening, a lot of them don't know how to use over-the-counter medications. Yep. They're going into local Walmarts, et cetera, et cetera, buying over-the-counter medications and in four days in Minneapolis, 12 children under the age of two and under came in overdosed on cold medications over the counter. Wow. Wow. We remember we had to put everything in, in Spanish on our paperwork. You know, we, we dealt with that, right? Now we're going to have to put Arabic. Press one for English, two for <laughs> yeah, Spanish. There you go. <laughs> and yeah. we're not, not, look, look, look. We're not, I'm not talking to Mexican digging, people. Uh, no, I love Mexican people. They're awesome. Okay. Who doesn't love a good taco? Just saying. Okay. Um, but. Yeah, you're going to have to put all the, and then your teachers at school, you're going to have to, an interpreter, usually you have a, uh, if an interpreter is needed, it'll be a, a, somebody who speaks Espanol, but um, now you're going to have to have somebody who speaks Arabic, and yeah, there's plenty of jobs out there. <coughs> well, I, I, deeper, I'm calling all out loud. <laughs> I think we need when, a taco break. When I think they need to go through and they should actually come through and learn English and then come be given citizenship. Yep. Now, they should do that on their own before they come over. Don't they have freaking programs? True. I was here commercials. Damn, we're already 40 minutes in the one. show. You're going True. to Mexico. Order this. You can learn Mexico uh, Mexican in freaking two weeks. Yeah, it does work. Oh, Rosetta Stone? Yeah, yeah. I don't know yes. about that. Yeah. Those ones you drive around with, listen to tapes. 
Well, meanwhile, while our stock market's been rallying, I guess, and it looks like the tech, Mr. Boswell said, was down today. Japan, you guys, the Bank of Japan is facing some big problems here. And um, I was talking with Jay about this last night. And this is going to cause a ripple effect, right, Jay? Yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, I forgot we found that last night. Do you have any of... Yeah, the big bank in Japan is they're um, the reason it, it's weird over there because they've been at negative interest rates. What is that, the Nikkei? Forever. I'm not sure what it is over there. And but go ahead. now they're raising rates and they haven't raised rates in what? What was it? 17 years or something like that? There's Since um, the 1970s, they said. <clears throat> The Japan's Longer biggest now. companies um, started um, giving um, the biggest wage hikes in 40 years, in some cases 12%. And because of that increase in wages, um, I don't understand it, to be honest with you. It sent the Bank of Japan into a panic. And um, here's a little video on it. Did you want to say anything, Jay? Sorry. No, I think what it would, it was hard to understand this, but I think what it was, it was like they raise wages and it has to do with their um, inflation. Like we're doing it. We give, now if you make 20 bucks to me, flip a hamburger, well, your hamburger is now eighteen ninety five for the meal. You can't do that. You can't make those huge adjustments like that and not expect this shit to happen. So here's a video from some guy that um, has some um, information. I don't know who he is, but um, hey, dude, I got your video. Thanks for your video. Been since hey, the 1970s. And America's not far behind. Really, our best hope is change the definition of stagflation like we did with recession. The nation of Japan is currently frozen in the headlights, stuck between a weak economy on life support from cheap money, super low interest rates, and a crashing yen as a result of those super low rates. The yen threatens the Japanese financial system and it threatens savage price hikes for Japanese families who overwhelmingly depend on imported food and energy. In short, Bank of Japan needs to hike interest rates to save the yen and head off inflation, but they can't hike because of economic weakness. In fact, Japan just entered recession a few weeks ago. Now, the Bank of Japan had been trying to carefully maneuver between the two, so a little stimulus here, a little jawboning there, so the public does not notice what's happening. Well, last week, Japan's unions scrambled the chessboard, meaning inflation is coming and it could be here to stay. So Japanese unions typically coordinate pay negotiations every year. It's called the Spring Offensive, an in intentionally military metaphor. Japanese unions used to be surprisingly violent. This year's offensive was a hand grenade. After literally 30 years of stagnant wages, this year Japan's large companies granted 4% annual pay hikes. Small and medium companies, which represent millions of workers, went all the way to 6%. And some large companies, it went much further. So Toyota, which is a bellwether for corporate Japan, granted every last yen the union asked for. Honda and All Nippon Airlines both granted almost 6%. Mitsubishi Heavy gave 8%. Nippon Steel, which is in the news for buying U.S. steel, forked over 12%, the biggest jump since 1979. Retailer Aon granted 7% to its 400,000 part-time employees, signaling the wage hikes are trickling down to just about everybody, which is the Bank of Japan's worst nightmare. Now, all central bankers know that once inflation gets baked into union negotiations, it can be very, very hard to uproot. So, in short, Japan is already in recession, got 50% price hikes coming like a golf ball in a snake thanks to the weak yen, and now corporate Japan just baked it in. So what's next? Brought to you by Unchained.com. The government of Japan is good at many things, crime, immigration, fixing potholes. What it's not good at is managing the economy. In fact, they've turned in 30 years of stagnation, bought with an eye-watering mountain of debt. So in U.S. terms, Japan's government debt is roughly $60 trillion. This raises the odds that a stagflationary Japan could be the spark that sets off a global financial crisis we haven't seen since 2008. More concerning, the dominoes are now falling towards a coordinated global stagflation in Europe, America, and even China, and now Japan. Last time this happened was in the 1970s. 
And it only ended when Paul Volcker's Fed hiked rates high enough to engineer a pair of savage recessions, at the time the worst since the Depression. So we could be looking at a 2008 crisis and a 1970s stagflation altogether, which is something we have not seen since 1929. So what could stop it? Easy slash government spending. All right, this boring. Inflation, it grows the economy by returning resources. Workers steal. I okay. can't unmute you. You're muted, Jay. You're muted, Jay. There you go. I said, it's boring. We know all the money's gone. Shit's happening. The money's changing. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. People can't eat over there just like they can't here. Um, can't afford no rice. They can't afford shit. You know, it, it's like like AB said, man, the shit's coming to a head. Or the pimple's going to pop. Hey, they still I got rice. They, they still got yet. radiated fish. Radiated fish. Yeah, Godzilla, they still, they still got Godzilla. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and they got ramen. Ramen, mm, spicy ramen. Ramen. Those dudes could slurp some ramen, and those eggs, man. You ever see them? You just yep. suck down and swallow the whole egg. Oh god! Like, you, know, uh, uh, you guys are so bad. <laughs> no, I know. No, though. I you think have it's... you have to watch the video. Yeah, I've Rocky seen it. did it, and Hulk Hogan did it. They drank them raw eggs, but I ain't doing it. No, it wasn't raw eggs, like hard boiled eggs, man. Like they oh, put on oh, top of their ramen. And, yeah. and oh. then the wife the wife hides them from them. Yeah. And it's like how many it's like a battle to get the eggs, I guess, because you the wife goes in the, live, to in the live octopi. You seen them yeah. eat the live octopies? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, oh, so. Each to their own, not for me. Yeah. No, but they hold a lot of our debt. That's what I mean, Boswell put that in chat. Yeah, they do. They hold a lot of our debt. So if they're going into stagflation, recession, whatever the fuck. Like, that was so weird. They called it a combination of two things. It's the 70s and the 1920s. It, like, it's that bad? Yeah, okay. It's yeah. Well, they've changed the meaning of things. Just like they changed. What was the numbers that we went over not two months ago? We are talking about inflation. And they've changed it over time to where the numbers are less but actually worse because they don't count some things like they, oh, used, yeah. they used to count everything they're still out there exactly. saying three three percent three percent kiss my ass it's just like me man. going buying them truck parts today and yeah, when i looked exactly at the bill, i was like damn exactly and that's just parts that's not yep. labor you know and but parts. And then how much did that go up? Because where did that part get made? Was it here or was uh, it the in drums China? are made. Break, the brake drums, the drums itself are made here. Uh, they're American steel. <laughs> they went up fifty dollars a piece. I was trying to think when like probably in a year's time or less. It's been a while since I bought any. But they went up fifty dollars a piece. They were a hundred, they were hundred and fifty three or some shit like that. And I looked at the bill and I was like, holy shit. A lot of sticker shots going on. And then we got shrinkflation. You ever seen the size of a saltine cracker now? Oh they my cut, God. Cut the, they cut that down too? Okay, absolutely. They're smaller by far. Yeah, yeah. Same thing, bag of potato chips, mostly air. Well, Thank you, Joe. They took the onion out of the Fonyons because you remember I got that bag of Fonyons and it didn't even taste like onion. You're still like bitching about that. Yeah, that pissed me off too because it's like. <laughs> yeah, you, you get that craving for that Funyun flavor and you don't get it. Yeah, I'm with you too. <laughs> that got cheap. They can't even put onion flavor on the damn Funyuns. Yeah, well, you know what I did is I took extra onion powder, you know, and I <laughs> dumped it in the bag because I was pissed that night. But then. I get another bag from that same gas station, you know, um, like a couple weeks later, and at least they the onion was in the funyun, but I got a funyun onion less bag. I was pissed, okay? It like missed the onion shaker in the factory. Uh huh. And seriously, check the ounces on some of your canned goods. The ounces are not the same anymore either. 
You know, they're all Great close play, to 10 Tim. ounces or less. Hey, Tim. Tim, what's been yeah. going on in the motherfucking skies? Oh, in, in them motherfucking skies. Hang on, let me find Steffi's videos here. Yeah, she's been busy. They've been bombing Cali with um with going uh, back to Cali. Yeah, Cali. it's it's Cali. all illegals there anyway. <laughs> well, Steph's in she's in an area I don't that's know which one's not more Texas or California. So you guys, hey Arizona, man, we're we're up there too. Well, yeah, y'all are stepping it up. This is Stephanie's channel, so I'd like you guys to go and subscribe to her. She's only got 621 subscribers. She doesn't really want subscribers, so go over there and subscribe just because she doesn't want them. No, she does. She but don't, like make, don't make fun of her because she looks just like Bob Ross. Do yep. not make fun of Steph or she will. Okay. And also, <laughs> she's the super mod in our group here, so she's got the ability. She's got the to nut buster. Yeah, she got the nut buster, so don't piss stuff off in chat. So this was a video from her from a couple days ago. Um, she got microwaved and chem sprayed. 8.25 in the morning. 45 degrees. My sky's really weird today. Thought I'd share real quick. There it goes. Looking towards Big Bear right there. That is straight towards Phoenix, sort of. Oh, Jay. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you something when she's done. Look at these clouds. They're not clouds. People think they're clouds. Yeah, those that's are Bob, clouds. That's a Bob Vila picture picture painting. If you listen to her, she'll see. And the blue. Towards Lake Arrowhead. <laughs> yeah, she does really it really soft, soft in here, but that definitely was a chemtrail bloom. Goes up, 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 up. Gotta hurry up. People are walking their dogs. Oh, no. She's she's naked. She was in her house coat, probably. <laughs> Have a good day. Don't make it's fun of staff, man. She's oh, got yeah. this paper wrench. Oh, she's great. I love stuff. And then here's her backyard from the other day. If you're over 50, you don't want to use traditional Yes, makeup. I am. As we age, our skin tends to lose moisture. I hate these commercials. <laughs> X marks the spot. And this is uh, from my backyard. I wanted to That's share. That's the anarchy sign there in the, in the sky. Yeah, it looks like it. I get up, I always open my back window for my cat. She likes to sit there. Skinny. What I saw. Just looking straight south. You won't see much because I'm in my well, very, she's private, one bird. very private. Very private. Watch your Do I have the sun Ooh. in there? There's a moon. There's a moon. There's a moon. That's the left cheek of the moon. You can see where they, they put those lines though, because the sun's gonna, you know. So I'm only gonna do this. Cut be covered up in a few hours after that. Take your vitamin D. Straight up, looking towards the sun is looking towards Palm Springs. What a view from my back. You can't look at the day. sun straight on anymore. <coughs> it's too bright. Nope. And I do want to mention, I've been working on the videos from people from chat that have sent us sky pictures, and we're having a hard time getting them uploaded. So I'm working on it. Yeah, we are. Um, yeah, for pictures, make sure you do the JP, the JPG format or the JPEG format. It makes it easier if everybody sends the same formatted pictures if you're sending pictures. Yep, and that's part of the problem I'm having. I'm having to change the format how they were taken. Yep. Yep. And remember, no. none of us are professionals, and we didn't take oh, any no. video editing classes. Like we really are just learning this, you guys. Um, so yeah, if you could bear with. And us. I do thank everybody that sent them in. And no, I didn't forget about you. I'm just working on it. Life <laughs> happens too. Besides that. <laughs> And then we talked a little bit about the um, upcoming um, eclipse, man. Yeah. Everybody's, <laughs> everybody's tripping out over it. Like, we've had many, many eclipses in our lifetime. But they line up with the Bible. 
That's why they're fl flipping out. Yeah, I see that. But so. you know what? One thing nobody's mentioned, and I'm going to mention it on 10 TV for the first time. The 10 could do more of a future thing. Next week, we're going to have a worm moon. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. <laughs> Hey, I don't have to be I'm, a, I, 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 yeah, I'm asking yeah. for a friend and all my friends in chat. What the fuck's a worm moon? Yeah, exactly. Do your own research or wait till 10 TV comes out with the story because it's going to be a good one. You haven't heard this one in the Bible and it's coming. Just like the devil comment is coming. Yeah, that devil comment thing that everybody's talking about too. Yep. Son grabbed one the other day, if I'm not mistaken. I thought I saw somewhere about one sun sucked one up. Because I'm going to tell you right now, the devil comment this morning I reported, the last report that was going to come after April 8th. Today, now this evening, they're reporting that may be in conjunction with the April 8th eclipse. We're going to die. So that's moving oh, faster. Well, yeah, see, that's what I was, I was just saying on the last show. I was trying to, I thought the comment and this eclipse were linked together. Well, they are now. <laughs> hmm. Now, if you look at the biblical stories, depending on which religion you're studying, they are linked. Hmm. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I link them. No, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm not gonna talk too much about it because B Charm's in here and she kind of scolded me because I covered. Uh, the three days yesterday, and then I covered it again today, and she's had enough of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, you don't piss off Stephanie, I don't want to piss off each other. Oh, That's right. Good. Yep. Good point. Good. And then, um, happy spring, you guys. Um, just um, a few. The beaver well, came about, out? About a half an hour ago, <laughs> we went into out. the spring. Oh, shit, Mom, you scared me. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the thing I don't understand is the first day of spring has always been the 21st of March. Why did they change the date? Because everything has changed. For the first and, time uh, in my whole life, it's always been the 21st. Well, you know, they're finding out, too, that the Sabbath is actually on a Saturday, not a Sunday. All right. Hawk just said the worm moon is a death moon. We're all going to die. We're Think fucking. Death. We're all going to die. <laughs> yeah. I, hey, I warned my followers what to do during this mm. eclipse and the three days of darkness. Mm. So, I know uh, what I'm doing. I got my shit all planned out. You're dying. <laughs> I'm dying happy. I'm dying happy. I'm going to die happy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, like I said, you prefer, pre prepare for the worst and hope for the best. That's all you can do. And then exactly. you can celebrate with tacos three days later. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. And I, luckily, YouTube hasn't taken down my streams. You should go back and check out the two streams and uh, I'd, find out. I'd love to People go to think you. I'm crazy, but uh, I've been uh, on target on a lot of stuff lately. So. I, I'd love to go to your channel, but you're like it. Like really early in the morning. Oh wait, wait, wait! wait. We've already bullshit. had that bullshit. Yeah, Shit you're kicker. like the last two days. What time have we been going on? Eleven a.m. Central. Yeah, yeah. see, that's wait, like wait. nine. Your nine a.m. Your hey, time. You can meet us halfway. We moved up. I'll be right. Two hours. Back. You can wake up a couple hours early. I, I no, I get up at like one thirty. Well, now you're going to have to get up a whole lot earlier. <laughs> uh, Everything happens oh. while you're sleeping. You should know that. Oh, I know. I'm up at the middle of the freaking night. When Everything happens. Uh, I'm up all night. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I'd be the most I try to, I, I try to catch you, Trust. If I'm up, I try to catch you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, everybody go over there something to trust. Kinda, it's kind of bad, bad. I get AB up there. Sometimes Tim shows up. I had Craig the Duh Hunter. I mean, I see Mr. Boswell, but he's always off to work. So he hasn't been able to come up yet. Eventually, I'll be able to get him up there. And 
Yeah, last but not least, it's going to be Agent J. He'll finally show up one day. and It'll be oh, the yeah. end of the world. But like, trust me, what do I do? What's the, the day that... Yeah, what, what's the day that worm moon is? What the full, what'd you say it was? It's next Fourth? week. I didn't I didn't grab the, the date oh. because I want people to go look it up, but it's uh next week. Okay. Right when all the cold fronts and all that coming in. And everybody thinks it's bullshit, but you know, hey. Oh you mean we're ain't over A- yet. Amy's getting snow. Oh, I got a link here that shows what states are getting wet and uh AB's gonna be surprised. You're gonna be like mother I will Trust yeah. hundred bucks. Never make a bet with a guy that knows weather. Hey, <laughs> AB's backstage, Tim. Mm-hmm. But you can leave him back there. Tim was dealing with real life for a minute. Yeah, yeah. So we so just AB got to stay back there and start counting his pennies. He's gonna need a hundred bucks. You know. So we just talk about AB right now. Yeah. Believe that shit. Yeah. He he oh. needs to get a better vehicle than that Millennium Falcon he's driving right now because uh, they ain't gonna make it. Oh, update, yep. update. There tomorrow, we go. tomorrow, Mr. B's dryer is getting fixed. His new dryer. So I just want to let everybody know that his new dryers get his brand new dryer he bought broke. And they're coming out tomorrow to fix it. You so, cannot okay, get free so do you, do you have right something you animals. can share on that band of snow you're talking about? Take on the snow. Ken's back. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Mexican, Everything all right? Mexican dirt weed, man. Things are gonna snow in Georgia. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Get off that shit. Make your brain much. Yeah. Well, all I gotta say, you need to have a conversation with B Charming. She didn't think she was gonna get any cold weather and all that other crap, and she did. So, it was chilly. It's not cold down there. When it gets down to fifty degrees, they freeze to death down there. Oh, that's a, that's a ice. 50 degrees here, here in Minnesota. That's weather. Hello. What's wrong with you people? It's probably in the 60s right now, and I'm wearing a hoodie. Well, yeah. Currently 47. Man, I, I love it when I get these non believers. They not, not only start believing what I can freaking predict. But, uh, they they ain't deporting no illegals anyway. But, but I know what you're predicting it isn't messing with Arizona, so I'm good. Yep. It ain't Georgia neither. Yeah, it comes right <laughs> down there, brother. <laughs> Little yeah. bit of tiny bit of Texas. And- Hold on. Let me verify this. Let me go to the Weather Channel. They know every damn thing. Hold on. Yeah, you, you better be looking like past the 25th, but uh, I guarantee you. The Weather Channel's wrong, too, because they use the same modules all the other mainstream media. It, it is, like he's not frozen. Yep. This, this is Job of the Hut before... Uh, <laughs> I can't think of any other characters that are involved in Star Wars with Job of the Hut. So. The Weather Channel's right. Your damn forecasting, it's way off. It's got a damn gay star in it. What do I expect? All right, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this other thing. Oh, my God. Matt, look, go to irishstar.com. Where? Irishstar.com. Oh, I ain't looking at that. I don't trust that site. (laughs) It's fake news. It's fake news. We want fake boobs. We just don't want no fake news. <laughs> and it's not like fake news, but it and shows hello, and it shows Georgia right there. Ah, the yeah. And hello to the sixty-two people that are watching on the other platform 62. right now. Sixty-two. Yeah. On um, yeah, Jay, you want to do that num- letter again? You know. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. On. We're not yep. allowed to say that. On yeah, the and we've had them chatting the and generation channel. That's what you got to call it, the degeneration. So channel. What was that? What was that letter again, Jay? Yeah, what was that letter again? Only Suck one it. X. Suck it. We love you guys over on X. Wow, that is awesome. Sixty-two yeah. people. Wow, cool. And oh, the, and- look, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the the what is the hearts we get over there. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, there's no thumbs up or thumbs down. It's just the hearts. And then hello to Guilty on X. They've been trying to get a shout out. Buffering is in our chat on X. 
on X. That is so cool, you guys on X. Unique prepping. They said they were getting 1.7 million people to, uh, joining X every day. Yeah. They're leaving what? TikTok, people. What? Did, mm. What? 1.7 million people are joining X every day. Yep. Yep. Be, be Jay, kids. I know. I'm in Minnesota, too. It's freezing. Are you on X, Jay? No. They ship? I, I am. I am. I'm not yet. Yeah, get on X, you guys. Because uh, this platform is not going to support people like us much longer. We already know that. So... Yeah, um, and they ain't attorney. supporting me any damn way. Well, we don't get we. Well, we're not monetized, so you know. Fucking they, been waiting for our checks for years now. Yeah, there. Yeah, there ain't no money. Sorry. Uh, you need prepping. Yeah. Good to see you. And Hawks mustard seed is out there, and Red Dawn. Yep. And Jerry said, Lee says Let fake book feels boobs feel like you're trying to make what? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch all that. feel like you're out trying to make HCQ hydrochloroquine. <laughs> what the hell's HCQ? You don't know what hydrochloroquine is? Well, I'm I'm thinking that's what there's. Yes, I know what that is, but I'm trying to figure out what HCQ. If that's exactly what it is. And then, I, yeah, I saw a girl doing that, and her husband the whole time's filming her boobs while she's making. Grapefruit juice and other things. Two A C C. Thank you so much for sharing us out on your platform on X. Oh, thank oh you. yeah, thank you. You're, you're yeah, right. we forget to ask you to like, subscribe, sub, all that bullshit because we're, we're not monetized, so it's not like, oh, come on, we need you, stop that. We just appreciate that you come and listen to us crazy ass people because we don't know why you do. But we no. do. We appreciate it, don't we? Guys? Yeah, and the only yeah, thing we absolutely. ask is the thumbs up and uh, hearts. Come on now, yeah. it's not costing any money. Yeah, no money. No, so it's free. So it's that time of the show, you guys, for shift well, kicker. Hit, hit my cash app while we're talking wait, about wait, this. Wait, wait, wait! Before you do that, can you do the taco munchers? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh yeah, this episode of Taco or Tin TV is brought to you by. Tacos. Love them. Okay, now I gotta find the other button. Here we go. And tonight's shout outs are first one is trusting God first, and He is on our panel tonight. And He does an early morning and mid morning now. He, at least that's what He's going to try and do. Yes. Hopefully, He can handle two shows a morning. And Sub him up. We're trying to get him to a thousand subs. He's on his way. He only needs like 75, I believe. I don't know. Something and like then that. I am going to do a shameless plug for me. Yes. Tomorrow, 1130 a.m. Central. Come join us for Women's Wednesday. Me oh, and really? Tim at work are covering a very great subject and Guys are welcome because the subject also affects males. You'll what are have we going to talk about? Feminine pads. Come, come to my live to find out. <laughs> and oh, then for so tonight, tonight's prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May we all be well, happy, and peaceful. May no harm come to us. May we also have patience, courage, understanding, determination, to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties, problems, and failures in life. Amen. 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 And you guys, yeah, do try to join Trust in the Morning. If you um, watch us on the Rewind in the Morning, go to Trust first and then watch us on the Rewind because Trust is you a might part. Not let me up now. Well, we're, we're all working together here as individual channels, but working together to try to bring you guys some entertainment, whether it's in the morning or the evening. Um, or piss you off. 
RP and to style. try to figure out what the hell's going on. That's all I want to know, man. Yeah. I well, gotta I'll you out for the out. morning. I'll get your blood flowing, but you'll definitely need coffee to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I was gonna say something, but I'm not. I'm gonna refrain. Yeah, we don't we don't serve chicken nuggets because uh, the truck driver never brings them. Go ahead, Agent. Just say Jay. just just six, say six no piece. to chicken choking. Damn, are you still working out, Agent Jay? You look buff. no, 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 no. Buff, man. No. Uh, I mean, I, it's the pads I wear underneath here. <laughs> the shoulder pads are coming back. Oh, yeah, man. shit. No. Yeah. Hey, uh, join us over on Tin TV too. Uh, go ahead and subscribe there if you can, because if we're not here on Tin TV, that means we got shut down. Yeah. Uh, we also have over on Tin TV over on mm. X. One, one I'll more time. It. Okay. All right. And then all your bitches and complaints. <laughs> Go to Tin TV at myyahoo.com. You can also send them to Shift Kicker over at Shift Kicker92 at yahoo.com. There. We also have th uh, Telegram. Yeah. Tin TV over on Telegram and Planet Neutral over on Telegram. And there's nothing. Nobody asks for money. Everybody posts all kinds of cool I shit did. over there on Telegram. I, man. Did. I did. So appreciate everybody who's over there on Telegram. I think we only got like 255 people, but they um they uh post a lot of good information. The feed's of, always busy. Mm -hmm. The feed's really busy at Telegram, even though we have a small group. It seems like there's a lot of sharing going on. It's awesome. Yep. Sharing is caring. Yep, just trying to figure this shit out. That's all. All we're trying to do. Why? Why am I on full? Hold on. <laughs> we'll kick the camera on for this. Oh, there you shit. go. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, you look good, man. You look. You've been working out. Yeah, yeah. I'll, okay. I did upper body this morning. Yeah. Um. <sighs> Hell, I ain't got nothing to say. I'm just gonna piss people off. <laughs> I ain't gonna say shit. <laughs> How's the trucking out there? Chicken still sucks. flowing? Oh, the chicken's moving freely, as I'm asked all the time. Yeah, we're actually extremely busy, apparently, nights since I pulled in here. And I said hmm. this was going to happen because the beef prices are going to be less beef and more chicken. Eat more chicken. Eat more chicken. Chick fil A is. Any vets Don't... out here, any vets are online, thank you for what you do. The good popo, ambulance workers, healthcare workers, all you people are necessary. I always thought we used to get thanked in the truck and business, but hell, it's just a job for me. Chiropractors. Let's include chiropractors. Chiropractor? Yes, I've got a damn good chiropractor. She keeps my neck in shape. So, you know, and, you know, for all the lurkers and shit stirs, you got two words for you. Suck it. Fuck off. Yeah. Love it. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys, I guess this is a wrap for Taco Tuesday. Thank you all so much for coming. A shout out to everybody in the chat. We love you guys. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. And don't forget tomorrow, trust in God. And for sure, Shift Kickers um, at 11. 30 Central. 11 30 Central. Yeah, you guys. What time are you going to be on the time? What, yeah, what time, what, what time is that? 10 time. <laughs> Um, that's nine. Still nine. sleeping time for Jay. <laughs> nine in the morning. Yeah, I'm gonna be yeah. up. I'll be there for that yeah. show. Yeah. Tim's going to bed here very shortly. Yeah, very <laughs> shortly. Unfortunately, yeah. But but we Cheryl will be picking on you, Cheryl. Cheryl and and who else was it? They're lurking Zed's place. I'm picking on you. I just had to say that. <laughs> yeah, that, made, that, made, that made you put something in chat when I said that. So that <laughs> there you go. You know how to work yeah. it. We work a crowd. Yeah, you guys. So yeah, thank and you. And don't forget, after the show, leave leave some comments, hearts, and that after the show uploads and ends, go back and put in chat just some hearts. Keep yeah, just in the heart. album. You don't even have to put a comment, and they're free. They're free. Yeah. Like like we're a hundred percent free over here. And, um, yeah. I'm not. Are we free beggars now? No. Free tips. No. No. <laughs> All right, guys. 
See you guys tomorrow night. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you for coming. We love y'all. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life.